Oh shit. Oh fuck. This man's gonna die if we don't get him to a healer. Martha. It's good to see you. And you, Clive. Jill? Otto said he'd been attacked by a Kashik. What exactly happened here? Those skies are what happened. Not long after they fell dark, we had our first visit. There were hundreds of them. Tried to storm the hill. Only a handful made it up here, but that was more than enough. The rest are still down there now. And while we have a few willing fighters holding them back, they're sorely outnumbered. What do you think, Clive? That we join the fight. I thought you'd never offer. Now, where I need you is the Fallen Gate. That's where the fighting is fiercest. Let the men know you've come to help. Something tells me they'll be pleased to see you. We're on our way. Do you think there were as many as Martha says? <laughs> more. How much more? I want to see this fucking army over here. From you the don't distance. Think they've abandoned us, do you? Them not. Not a chance. Maybe. <laughs> oh shit. Oh yeah, I, I switched with the lightning with Bahamas. I want to test it out. Clive, wounded. We deal with the Akashic first. Alright. Back away, you fucks. I'm charging up. I'm charging up, damn it. There we go. Let's see how much damage. Oh shit! Holy fuck! What? I want to charge faster, damn it! You have to upgrade this shit! No, don't hurt me, don't hurt me, don't hurt me, there we go. I want to see the rest, but... The, the, the flare, but I just said uh, the mega flare, but the rest I don't like. These men don't have the look of hired swords. If you've come to rob this place, you are mistaken, my Lord Rosfield. We're here by Madame Martha's leave. How do you know my name? Forgive me, my lord. There wasn't time for introductions. We're with the Guardians of the Flame. Wadesmen? But how did you come to be here? Where is your commander? Sir Wade left earlier with a scouting party to find out where the Akashic were coming from. Did he? Take your wounded back to the inn. Martha will see you're looked after. We'll join you in on. And to think you took them for thieves. 
A fine reward for holding off the horde, that is. When did Wade and his men arrive? Not long after Rosalith fell. The Guardians asked me to shelter some of them that had lost their homes. They were making ready to leave just as the skies turned, and we agreed it was best we stuck together. Martha! Trouble! The scouting party's almost at the lift, but they got a pack of Akashic snapping at their heels! And they got wounded with them! They're not gonna make it! Damn it all! We'll worry about them, Martha. You look after everyone here. If any can still fight, send them to the lift. I will. You two be safe now. Give me a sec, give me a sec. Can I charge this? Like, I'm not charging, like, go faster? Increase the maximum Mega Flare level to 4. Fuck, I wish it. Is he killed level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4? How much is there? Squire, I need you to get those who can still walk up the lift to Martha's. But what about... I didn't ask, Oscar. Sir. Sir Wade. Lord Rossfield. If you aren't a sight for sore eyes. Martha seemed to think you might need some help. And by the looks of it... We thought we could sneak by them. But we didn't know there would be so many. How could we have? Behind you! Damn it! We need to get the injured to safety. Do you think we can hold them off? We can certainly try. Are you with us, Sir Wade? Always. Then let's do our duty. What the fuck is that? That's a giant turtle. All right. What's he doing? Spinning. I could dodge. That's the only thing I could do. Oh. I want to get to level three. Damn it. Come on, come on. Level two, the good, good, good. Wait, that's it? Alright. What da damage does this do? What the fuck? How the fuck I fight this bastard? This shit could be <laughs> charged faster, damn it. Accent still doesn't charge faster? It kinda does.
too slow. I'm kinda disappointed on Bahamut's fucking abilities, fuck. That was gonna be fucking cool, but it's not. Well, one of them, the ultimate. Is anyone hurt? I don't think so. And yet again, you've pulled me from the flames. It's just a pity I keep walking into them. <laughs> You've never been one to shy away from danger, Sir Wade. Like any shield worthy of the name. I see you're all in one piece. Martha! Is something wrong? The lookout saw smoke coming from down Eastpool Way. Too thick to be a hearth. A second horde? Feel like finishing the job? Always. Jill and I will make for Eastpool. You'll need to move the injured without us. Don't you worry about them. The moment my men are safe, I'll follow. Good luck. Oh my god. I like Mohammed, but shit. I get this bad boy back again. Going all out war again. Holy shit, we can't take a break. But what's going on here? Am I gonna find another turtle I haven't seen before? Or am I gonna fight the soldiers, the black knights, or the black. the black shields? Just. just goblins. That's it. They're headed for the rest. We have to slow them down. And the others won't be ready. There we go. It's still there. Chocobos! <laughs> the Chocobos had turned! God damn it! There's more Chocobos, I didn't see. But, okay. Jeez, my lord. Did I miss anything? Only the first round, so wait. Shall we? What the fuck? He, he turns two? What the fuck? Give me a sec. Uh... Get up. Get up with you next. I think these guys did, I thought they didn't turn because they're like demonish.
Oh fuck! <laughs> I didn't need my fucking ultimate for the fucking Phoenix. Holy shit! I just needed a fucking Titan spinning wheel, whatever. Do you see any more? No. I think that was the last of them. But it won't be long before the next lot arrive. Then we make for Martha's while we can. What did you find out there? The same as Sir Wade. Scores of Akashic. Well, wherever they came from, they're gone now. Our lookouts say the lowlands are clear. Hopefully we'll have enough time to lick our wounds. How many of your men were injured? A damn sight less than if you hadn't turned up. Thank you. It was a hard-fought victory. But as long as the skies remain dark, I fear the Akashic's numbers are only going to rise. It's not a matter of if the Horde will be back, but when. And whether that's sooner or later, we'll need to be ready. The inn here affords a good view of the land, and is easily defendable. I'd like to make this one of our outposts. What do you say, Martha? You'd have more men to guard the rest. Well, when you put it like that, of course they can stay. What the fuck is that? I got a... God damn it! <laughs> Why the fuck do I get this? Clive's chamber, like my fucking decoration. What the fuck I get this for? This worn art, uh, worn art <laughs> scarf. My lord, there's someone I'd like you to meet. Oscar, over here. It is an honor to make your acquaintance, Lord Rossfield. I am Oscar. Oscar of House Murdoch. Murdoch? I wasn't aware the Lord Commander had children. Oh, he didn't. But his brother, my father, did. I am Sir Rodney's nephew. <clears throat> well, go on, then. It's not for me to ask him. Yes, Sir so Wade. If it please you, my Lord Marquis, might you take me as your squire? I would learn the duties of a shield from the finest. I'm sorry to disappoint you, Oscar, but I am a shield no longer. Nor was I ever the finest. And spending time in the company of an outlaw hardly seems a fitting education for one uh, aspiring to take his oaths. My Aunt Hannah once told me that a man is not defined by his title, but what he does in its name. You have accomplished much since taking on the mantle of Sid, winning no little honor in so doing. And I would sooner serve under an honorable outlaw than an unworthy sheep. Not that Sir Wade and the other guardians are, I mean to say that, uh, the... It's all right, we know what you mean. There is only so much the boy can learn from me, my lord. But a squire. Would that really be so bad? You were a squire once. And I'm certain Sir Rodney would approve. <sighs> know that I'll show you as much leniency as your uncle showed me. I would not have it any other way. And them. Do I use Bahamut? No, no, not, not now. Once I get this, that's when I use fucking Bahamut. It, 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 it has five. Five stars. It means it's powerful. 
Look at that. So badass, but then these abilities I, I don't like. Even that I don't like. A flamethrower. God damn it. I want to use this, but I am terrible at doing that. I'm terrible at doing that shit. And this takes too long. Fuck, but I'm, I'm going to wait for this. Just need a little bit, a little bit more, a little bit more, I could get it. Alright. Who's next should I help? Uh, you. You will give me money, so I'm going to help you. Did. Your new companion appears much more formidable than your uncle. Should I be worried? Ah, you haven't been introduced. Jill, Clive has told me much about you. All lies, I'm sure. Your stolas said that Dalamil has a bandit problem. Indeed. Although, you're a little late. They left with our food and gill days ago. Any idea where they went? The desert's a big place. Your guess is as good as mine. But the fact is, I have more immediate concerns. What did you say to me? What did you say? Ah, as if by magic. Let's just say we've yet to reach a consensus about how to solve Dalimil's little problem. And at this rate, it won't be the actions of the bandits which prove to be our undoing. It will be our own. I've tried reasoning with the dissenting parties, but even the desert hair has limits. Perhaps we could talk to them. What makes you think they'll listen to us? What makes you think they won't? Huh. She makes a fair point, Sid. And you won't have wasted much of your precious time if you fail. They're just across the courtyard. Suppose we just follow the shouting. Oh, fuck. Poor bastard. Couldn't run because of the weight of his load. Still, better a branded than one of us. So a bitch. How dare you say that? You wouldn't talk like that if it had been your men whose throats were slit. Blood for blood, it's the only way. We hire mercenaries and have them mount the bandits' heads on our walls as a lesson to the rest. And what happens when those mercenaries are slaughtered like your men? Are you going to hire more? We're better off using that coin to buy food and supplies. If we hire mercenaries, the only thing we're buying is the bandits' ire. And you cannot fill empty bellies with that. Do you hear me? But what happens when they come back? Maybe it'll be your throat that's slit. That's enough. Both of you. Any more of this and I'll throw you out myself. Come back when you're ready to talk like adults. Victor. What's he doing here? Sid. And Lady Jill. What brings you here? I was about to ask you the same thing. Costness is in chaos. And the markets have all but ceased to operate. The Briar's Kiss here in Dalamil is the only place I can reliably obtain supplies. I was here to do just that when Master Lubor told me of his troubles. He thought I might be able to talk some sense into these fools. But if you're here, I suppose his patience must be waning. Who are those people? Those were the thorns in Lubor's side. And the reason this place might be headed the same way as Kostnis. It's these accursed skies. The darkness is enough to drive a man to madness. 
or an entire city for that matter. We're still working on the skies. But in the meantime, perhaps we can find a solution to Dalamil's problems. I hope so. For all our sakes. Well, are we gonna go after the bandits? Or we're just gonna solve the problem of the money problem? So, you see my predicament? What I saw was a room full of people who were angry and afraid. And with good reason by the sound of it. But if left to smolder, that anger and fear could set the entire town alight. My thoughts exactly. Ah, uh, what to do? Both sides wish to protect their homes and livelihoods, if only they could agree on how. But as long as they are divided, we are vulnerable. And if there's one thing bandits like, it's an easy target. What would Sid the Outlaw suggest? Well, if it were my namesake... He'd let them choose for themselves, and be on hand to pick up the pieces when it all went wrong. That sounds like a recipe for disaster. <sighs> a recipe for disaster is precisely what it is. But perhaps that realization would be enough to make them question the ingredients. While it's plain neither Conrad nor Natalie will countenance the other's proposal, it may still be possible to make them doubt their own. Before presenting them with a third option. And that would be? To pool our resources and save the city ourselves. Why fight each other? When all that fear and anger can be directed at the bandits. It appears we have a plan of action. Victor, pay Conrad a visit. See if you can't convince him of his folly. I'll speak with Natalie. As you wish. Hmm. Your faces are not well known in this town. That may prove useful. Don't worry, Victor and I will do most of the talking. You need only play along. Play along? What he means to say is yes. along with what what he wants me to do you intimidating to the to these peoples Picture you it, Conrad. your own city guard with you as captain me <laughs> I I don't know about that ah here she is Lady of the Spear herself. Conrad, may I introduce you to Jane, commander of the Red Wings, the oldest mercenary guild in the Free Cities. A pleasure, my lady. The pleasure is all mine. As I told you, I summoned the commander here from Canberra to inquire about a contract. Victor says you told him no. That there aren't any men left to hire, is that true? True as the crystals cracked. Nobles came and claimed every last one worth his salt. And not just from us Red Wings. You know of the seven high houses. There must be two score swords assigned each one. Granted, we have a few boys left. <laughs> if it's boys you're looking for. Well, Conrad? Are you saying that Dalam's finest cannot defend this town better than a gaggle of unblooded striplings? That a band of beardless youths could better avenge the deaths of your brave men than you yourselves? Absolutely not. We'll show those bastards who they're dealing with. I can't believe that actually worked. Conrad's not what you call the brightest candle in the crypt. And there's a reason why I had you do the talking and not Sid. Well played, my lady.
Wondering why is it the whole place fucking pur like purplish? I think it's gonna be more tiger. Together and show these brutes that Dalimil is not to be trifled with. They're just gonna run off. They're just gonna run away. I know where they're gonna be. My shop. If I had my pickaxe, I would. Well, what? Don't get yourself worked up. You need rest. I mean, it may still be possible to buy something, and we may yet be allowed to keep it. Yes, but... Uh... Ah, here he is now. Natalie, allow me to introduce Lord Underhill of Randalar's prestigious League of Merchants. Uh, Lord Underhill. At your service. Underhill. I was just telling the good lady of our conversation, my lord, and how you were lamenting the state of the capital's stores. Lubor says that not only are the granaries almost empty, but that war and the blight mean this season's harvest won't be enough to fill them for winter. Indeed, certainly that is the case. The nobles in the capital are buying up the city's stocks of barley and wine driving the prices higher than most commoners could afford. It is only a matter of time before the peasants revolt. <clears throat> it is worse than I thought. If what Lord Underhill says is true, I fear we have little hope of supplementing our stores, meager though they regrettably are. And while I applaud your endeavors to dissuade our more bellicose citizens from seeking vengeance, I sense Conrad is not wrong in his assessment of the bandit's likely return. Which means that now, more than ever, we will need to secure what little we still have. Food, weapons, herbs, everything. If our humble town is to endure not only this hardship, but those that are certain to follow, we must stand united. All right. If it will help to protect my home, I'll do it. But you needn't have gone through this charade. Thank you, Clive. Your performance was nothing if not workmanlike. She saw right through it. I didn't say it was good. Merely that it produced the desired effect. Now, my scouts should be returning shortly. Meet me back at the Briar's Kiss, and we shall see what we face. I'm not convinced our roles in this ruse were entirely necessary. <laughs> I don't know. Conrad seemed quite taken with you. It appears I have no choice but to do what little I can to defend what little we have. But I would not see any unnecessary blood spilt. We need a plan. Are they actually gonna freaking su Mommy, be successful? I'm scared. What if the bad men come back? <laughs> it's all right. We're all right now. Unruined. Good news, Sid. Both Conrad and Natalie have somewhat gracefully accepted their new roles. With time, they may even learn to. Time no longer appears to be the luxury it was before lunch. I take it your scouts found the bandits. Technically, it would be the bandits who found my scouts. It appears they march for Dalamil as we speak. All of them. You're not serious. They don't just want food, they want the whole damn town. I have a favor to ask. I'm told the bandits march in two groups, one from the south and one from the desert, in a move doubtless intended to stretch our already gossamer-thin defenses. Very well. Jill and I will meet those from the desert. But what of the rest? The rest, my friend, the city shall fight. Together. Mistakes, I concede, are high. But 
But if this does not unite Dalamil, nothing will. That is a lot of faith to put into those who had their hands around each other's throats but a moment ago. Then it will be for us to see that their hands are kept occupied. And I do mean us. I thought you might say that. We'll hold them off for as long as we can. And we will do the same. Oh shit, they're not that far. I thought they're gonna be far away, but they're th they're this close. Where the fuck are you? <laughs> Here they are. No women folk can come to fuck us. I'll take that one. <laughs> Too late. Combos on me. Torgo transform. I could, I could see he transform. Fuck. The townspeople. Could they have held out? I don't hear any fighting. What do you think? That we should hurry. Natalie, I owe you an apology. You did well out there. The inn would have been lost had you not held the line. Without you, there would have been no line to hold. You saved us, Conrad. You saved Alamil. We all saved Alamil. Conrad seems to have had a change of heart. I'd say they both have. I take it from your presence that our visitors from the desert won't be joining us either. Pity. The plan worked, Sid. Granted, it only took an army of bloodthirsty bandits at our gate. Calm now, Victor. Why quibble over the details? We are united, 
And that is all that matters. As for you, Sid, you fight considerably better than you act. I'll take that as a compliment. Oh, I got it. I got enough points. For the, for the uh, Bahamut Ultimate. I'm gonna equip it, fuck. But the problem is, what the fuck do I take out? Who do I take out? You? Well, I fucking like this move. Fuck. Ah. I have to take you out, man. Your, your move is a level three. I'm taking a flamethrower. Fuck the flamethrower. I want the Giga Flare. Go. Oh yeah. Fuck. Now we're gonna go to all the way over here. Help them out with the monsters. Fucking bastards. First we find Isabel. Have they been attacked by monsters? This doesn't look like they've been attacked by monsters. They look like they uh almost the same. What you got? And what can I do for you? Diamond sword. I do like a customer who knows what he wants. Bit of bloke saying he saw ghosts on the far side of the wall. Ghost. Wait, have we fought ghosts before? No, we haven't. Well. Bombs, the fire bombs, but they're not. Well, they're kind of is ghost. The, ghost eyes. the whole of Oriflam under a flood. And we're next. Hey, what else? Uh, what else is a ghost? Oh, the lich and the race, all that. Maybe the, those are the things that we're attacking. What happened? Four left for more in the captain's orders. Only two came back. <sighs> God, us help us. I want to know about these beasts. I can't do it. I can't fight those things. But you can. You must. For me. For us. You don't know? Oh no, there's some still out. My lord. My lady. We received the dame's message. There have been sightings of strange creatures, I understand. With the blue eyes. Yes. Like a Kashyyyk, but different. They've taken so many. I've lost count. A Kashyyyk, but different. <sighs> Ultimus Thralls. And what of your mistress? Is she here? Oh, no. She went to the garrison to ask what they were planning on doing about all this. Then we'll look for her there. Damn it. Goddamn Ultima. More arrived from the capital this morning. The two soldiers were carrying another. Where the fuck is this guy going? Holy shit. He's running off. It's alright. Madame, please! Half the garrison's been slaughtered by those things. We lost the captain this very morning. We've tried requesting reinforcements, but there's been no word from the capital or the Dominion in days. What more would you have us do? I would have you do your duty. Those at the Vale look to me for protection. And protect them I shall, because they are my charges and that is my duty. In case you have forgotten, the people of this town are your charges. But more than that, they are your people, your sisters, your brothers, your lovers. So you have a choice. Lay down your sword and watch as they are slaughtered, or take it up and do what is right. 
She speaks the truth, you know. This here, it's all we have. It's all that's left. What we have left is our lives. Do you really want us to lose them as well? Not if we don't ask to. Look, there's a cask under the captain's bunk. Let's talk about this over a drink, eh? I'm listening. I'll have a word with them. Ah, oh, Clive. I didn't expect help to arrive so quickly. And sought to take matters into my own hands. It was a noble effort. But I thought you might still need some support. I'd like you to consider my needs. Ahem. <clears throat> what we need to consider is where the creatures came from. The way the survivors speak of them, one would think they appeared out of thin air. <laughs> and perhaps they did. It's hard to know what to believe these days. Hmm. We'll talk to the survivors. You're a pikeman, yes? What happened? I've got family and more. I heard the flood was spreading, so... I went to see if they were all right. And a pack of them glowing... things found me in the meadow. I ran for my life. I... I never did get to the village. Leave that to us. But my family... they're still in the capital. I'm sorry, darling. I truly am. So is this Ultima's great plan of destroying everything that Clive has done? Like, build a great relationship? He said to sever all Clive's connections of the people who you tried to help. Did you see the creatures that attacked you? Creatures? Uh, yeah, I... They came out of nowhere. They went for Joseph first, then me, and then... Then they were just... gone. Do you remember where you were? On the road from Oriflam. We just passed more when... When... <laughs> Where's my Joseph? It's all right. Just rest now. At least we have an idea of where the thralls might be now. We should head for more. <sighs> you saw those soldiers. I assume you have a plan. We need to find out. Damn, they're so far away over there. It was all they could do to escape. It's no longer, <laughs> you know, so. Like energetic of this place anymore. Still feels it was like lovely. It had peoples here, like they were walking around like no one's business, but not anymore. Holy shit. I don't know why, but it feels like something's missing here. I don't know what's missing here. Where are you bastards? Somewhere around here, but is it been attacking me already? Clive, look. I see them with me. So slow. Back off. Trying to charge up, damn it. Wait, 
are you saying that? Are you saying there's a boss here? Oh no no no, Deathmaster, Deathmaster, I hate this one. What the fuck? Where the fuck is this one? You bitch. Got the Torgo. Fuck. to me. Oh, oh, just die, just die, 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 die. There we go. Okay, I still have it. I still got it. <laughs> I still got it. Okay. Whew. Using everything to just kill the enemy. Do you think there are more? There are always more. But I'd say we've done what we can for the time being. Then we should let Isabel know. You have the town's thanks. Don't thank us yet. There will be more. Many more. And you'll need to be ready for them. Oh, we shall. Isn't that right, Captain? Yes, my lady. The garrison will be ready. Philippe here has convinced most of the men to remain at their posts. For now, at least. <laughs> Hearing that the dame would look kindly on any man who committed himself to the task certainly didn't hurt. Nah, it's not the most selfless of motives, I'll admit. But whatever it takes, eh? Now me, I never needed convincing. I became a soldier to protect the people I love. And the people I love include the ones standing before me. <laughs> Handsome and chivalrous. Now, if you don't mind, I have sentries to post. Milady. Lest you wonder, I'm not foolish enough to believe that this has solved all of my problems. But it has solved one, and that's one fewer than I had this morning. Thank you again, Clive. I have enough points for the reown. Our friends seem to have things under control. For now, at least. Let's go and put Otto's mind to rest. Give me a sec. I haven't checked. What happened if I upgraded Bahamut's ultimate again? 
Oh, it happened. Upgrade. Increase the number of hits inflicted by the beam. Okay. I thought it would be like something different, like, you know, like... Like the Mega Flare started shooting out as well. Like when he used the beam. What if I upgrade you? What do you do? Pressing the SQ button the second time caused the spears to explode. Wait, I could press it again? I didn't know that. The explosion strength is determined by how many times the spears have already uh, struck their targets. Uh, explosion strength is the maximum when the spears glow bright orange. Explosion can be triggered at a time where Regardless of Clyde's recovery status. Are oh, you fucking shitting me? I, I could have exploded. I didn't know. Is it showing it to me? I knew. I There, it's turning orange. Yeah, it exploded. Fuck. There we go. Hey, what about you? you? Could use to push or pull enemies in the desired location. Push or pull? What the fuck? How fucking weird. Push or pull? 